Hello guys, should be works. I will wait for the for someone to write on the uh, comments on the video. Uh, I've noticed I probably have uh, some noise in the background. I'm not sure uh, because I have the fan of my PC is quite off. The laptop is quite powerful, uh, but should be good enough. I hope. I'm now setting up the iPad, so I should be able. I, hope, yeah, I can't check the. Uh, oh damn it! I can check the the comments on the iPad. Uh, okay, let me see. Yeah, I can check the comments. I'm still quite annoying now. I can get to go on the page from Okay. Oh hi. Reinek. Okay, let me see if I can just pop up. Yeah. Yes, yes, a lot better. Let me send this to myself on Facebook. I'm just managing now the chat. I want to send the I sent to myself the link so I can so I can uh, check it on the iPad. So one second, I just want to set up everything. So I have the iPad with the chat. I can always see it at the same time. Let me see if it works. Yeah, it works on the iPad. Can someone type something in the chat now? I saw Reinek and the uh, Ziobili, I think it is. <laughs> say hi, I say hi to everyone. Uh, so I open now the chat on the. Anyway, try to keep it open here too. And let me s know how it's going, like resolution and everything. Better connection the last time. Hey, a hey, 3D maker new. Uh, yeah. Uh, right now I'm in Italy for the holidays, so I'm staying uh, my place uh, with my family, and I have a really good connection here. Uh, so yeah, I need to try a way in London to have a really good connection. Uh, let me see here the chat. Hi, hi, hi to everyone. Nice to see uh, all you guys join in. Well, I can see the number of the line. Uh, I think he update just sometime. I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I can tell you if you want. I think you can see my full screen if I'm not wrong. And. Um, Live stream events. Let me see how many people. So right now should be live. Uh, 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 seven people. I will keep this here so I can see and reply to everyone. Hi Marcel. So today finally after a lot of time that I have in mind to try to make something. I did, I made something in Fusion 360, but I never want to spend time on it uh, because I feel really confident with Rhino. And how you are seeing now on the screen, probably, I need just to switch the scene. How you can see now on the screen, uh, I want to make these uh, the steam hours that they just did on December and uh, I think this is not the tricky shape and I want to bring you along and let you like go through what I usually go through when I want to design something 
and try from pretty much from scratch. I didn't spend time on Fusion 360, so I have knowledge of Rhino 3D and other software. Uh, I'm not a big fan of people uh, try to spam the chat. <laughs> I just saw. Uh, And um, and so I want to make these uh, awards, and uh, pretty much I try what I usually do. I try to figure out the proportion of the the parts. Uh, we can see like from this picture we have kind of a rectangular shape and it's like extruded, and then we have a lot of square uh, shape here on top and uh, the base so my idea will be to put uh, the um, uh, print this in two parts the base separate and the, uh, the top part on the back so the logo will come out really well and without supports and all the square uh, will come out without support and really well too uh, the only things probably will have some supports will be uh, on the bottom of the top part of the trophy because I will have uh, some kind of pin or something to join with the base uh, uh, I, s I'm, uh, I seem to have gotten stuck on Fusion 360 was the first one I used it and get used to it yeah this is the thing is if you start to use one software without a have any experience with other software is always more easy to kind of learn it uh, I use pretty much from almost to here Rhino 3D and uh, I'm stuck with that software for now and uh, uh, again this guy oh, I will ban you I will yeah sorry I don't like people that spam in the chat um and so pretty much the idea uh i did like uh, let me let me change the scene so you guys can see it so i did a little sketch my freehand drawing our skills are quite low uh, you can see here but pretty much uh i think about this rectangular shape be uh, done with different squares and each square will be 1.5 by 1.5 so I then calculate the 8 of the top parts and the 8 of the base and uh, the dimension, the width uh, of the side of the rectangular and uh, kind of understand the diameter of the logo uh, on the kind of is center, not particular, not center and then I understand how are the position here on top of each square uh, so have you tried on shape no uh, wait I need to go so out of 3d uh, is this now your favorite software uh, not really <laughs> I didn't have experience yet that I still feel not confident because when you s use Rhino 3d uh, like I do, uh, you move in the space in different way, and um, I usually type the commands that I'm searching for. Uh, like I can show, this is Rhino 3D, and I use it. I pretty much use uh, this picture of ours to try to understand how many square was inside this shape. Uh, so I was able to kind of understand what size uh, each square will be to be able to print like in a normal size printer um, uh, about tone shape no I never try it uh, I I'm not a huge fan because like on shape um, SolidWorks and um, Fusion 360 are really similar software in particular how you move in the space and uh, about um, uh, SolidWorks, I tried, I used it, but I didn't like it at all. Fusion seems a bit more user-friendly, to be honest. And I like different functions that Fusion 360 have. 
like the timeline here on the bottom of the, of the screen yeah I'm in the right scene uh, and it's really cool and I like different stuff that I saw done by other artists or other people that I know that are using this software so like now I'm trying to rotate the space but okay I I totally forgot how and uh, uh, let me see what you are doing I use solid edge 1 2 3 D and now fusion 360 yes uh, I saw different people switch from 1 2 3 D to fusion 360 I use a roller yeah I was just free sketching if I have a roller yeah I will be of course I will make a better uh, drawing but the thing is you don't need uh, have like a precise drawing it's just a way to be able to have an idea about all the important uh, size of the shape so uh, I will probably start with I don't know how many of you uh, or ever tried to make something with Fusion where you have different um, part of the software from the model, render, animation, simulation, patch we will use today the model and pretty much we will make sketch extrude sketch pretty much I don't think I will up I think I will probably just use uh, yeah drawing, extruding um, and then probably some boolean like difference and uh, I took the logo from I just google it I took the logo in SVG format and uh, you can import SVG in uh, uh, Fusion 360 so you will be able to speed up a bit the process you can always if you want like import uh, just the picture and then go on top and trace it but if you are able to find that SVG it just speed up the process and I hope to be able to make it in 30 minutes one hour I will try to keep up with the chat uh, so maybe more uh, or we we'll do maybe a step today and then a step maybe tomorrow or in the next days um, because I'm sure if I need to do something like this in Rhino 3D I will take maximum I guess 20 minutes uh, I will probably be able to make it if I go really fast in 10 15 minutes but because it's a new software and I will need to move in a new space it will probably take more time uh, let me just I just I will read the last comments you just put in the chat and then move on I need to post it I totally forgot on my patreon uh, that I'm live so all the people can join from patreon and then we will start to make it and see how this will come out uh, let me check so I use Maya or 3ds max for modeling but I don't have a 3d printer so I can't print them but I can put them in a game in engine uh, yes I never use that kind of software I know are more software for um, uh, video games uh, I know people that use it for 3 printing too uh, if you doesn't have a if you don't have a 3 printer you can uh, use like 3d apps uh, for printing your model uh, is I have uh, my 3d apps uh, or uh, like if you want you can contact me and I can give you like a quote for printing stuff for you and send it to you uh, the most I was on a fusion is that you can put a picture in the background and draw on it and get the exact shape yeah exactly you can uh, you can put a background like picture I mean I guess in every software you can import picture and uh, try to use it like reference and uh, and work around the the picture so you're sure you are using the right uh, uh, size and um, proportion uh, but for this kind of uh, shape is not that tricky that I need to have it in the background like maybe when I do like big gun or props or really complex design that I want to be sure I'm making every part well. Uh, have you tried to design a figure in Fusion? I did. Uh, I I 
I, I just the only things I did in uh, Fusion 360 was uh, from Overwatch that you can find the uh, video on uh, online on my channel. Uh, so let me just post really quick on Patreon that I'm live, so they can join if they want. I will just copy the tweet I just did. Yes, so everyone can join too from Patreon. Uh, yes, we are right now six people and uh, hope to increase it. But yes, we will just proceed and you know, if you want, just leave and then see it again. I think so, we'll leave it online. So we will start to design the awards. Okay, cool, thanks, man. What is the biggest things you have printed? The biggest things I have printed, I guess, probably is the Fiora's Word that you can find a, a video on my channel that was, I think, around 1 meter and 30 centimeter. Uh, yeah, but I think so, was the Luchulan is more, Luchulan was more maybe tricky to design and uh, it's not that like long and huge shape. Uh, but probably it will be a fight for hour of printing because I think both like the Fiora uh, sword and the Luchogan are around uh, 100 hours of print uh, so yes so we will start with the base I guess and uh, uh, we will start to drawing and so let me see sketch so we'll create a sketch and when we create a sketch we need to decide in which plane we want to start and you can see here on top on the right top you can find a square so you can understand where you are and if you want you can own the the space so i will click on top so i'm sure i'm clicking on the top uh, face and uh, we will start to sketching I guess a rectangular shape and I will not care too much about the size right now because I can resize each uh, side individually uh, if, let me find here sketch dimension and click on the side and right now is a uh, 10 by 10 centimeter square and I want this side to be 6 centimeters so 60 millimeter and this side need to be 4.5 centimeters so it will be 45 then something I never really understand really well is moving all the parts uh, so I will now want to make it like I like to have my space like clear and try to keep everything like in the center uh, or at least like with this kind of shape keep it like in the center so I guess I will go in the sketch or if I'm not wrong you can uh, press the S button and you can search for the commands so I guess like move and I want to move on the center so we'll be select and on the right of the screen we always have like suggestion what we will need to do uh, how are you like inclusion so far uh, to be honest I still need to like it I want to like it that is the things um, because I think it's a powerful tool 
uh, I'm not liking it until now I want I will need to make more um, uh, project to be able to like the software to feel comfort uh, a comfort zone inside the software I know where I find our things uh, what the uh, do you think you could print a Reinhard hammer? Yeah, if I model the, the hammer, I could print it. Probably I will not print all the handle, I will maybe put like a PVC pipe or something like that because I think it's useless and a PVC pipe would be more robust than uh, three printed parts. Hi, Matthew. Uh, so now, something I really hate at least I never find like how proper works is moving parts inside this software so it's like I can't I just move this is the object that I want to move but I would like to be able to move it from the central part so I guess uh, Oh, here. Okay. So now, if I want to. Jesus. Let's set pivot. seeing someone are retweeting my stuff on Twitter thank you guys so well I will just move it like this I guess really good. Jesus, you see, it's some some like super easy stuff that I feel like ah how I can do it because in Rhino I make it in another way it's super easy, and probably the moment I find out how move stuff in Fusion 360, like well, let me just go okay, let me just repeat the comment before I type something wrong. Or to be sure, I will go here and should be here. I move common, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or if someone know it in the chat, just let me know. Draw line from a corner to the opposite corner, and then in the sketch palette, you can change the line to a sketch. You can link it to the midpoint on the line. Yes, I mean, I could do select this. Well, he's in the middle, so <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, uh, this is done, so I can stop to sketch now uh, you can see we have this sketch and I can extrude this that will be the uh, line for the base so extrude and now we can or drag here and we are extruding the shape or directly right here the how much we want to extrude this part and uh, I want to extrude for uh, 25 millimeter so this is will be the base of the the awards so um, we can see here then what I was thinking about these parts with the text to extrude it like probably for one or 1.5 millimeter just to be sure we can print it without supports because I don't think we actually need supports so we can make create sketch and this time click on this part of the rectangular shape that we just extruded 
and we can draw on top of these so we can sketch another rectangular shape point to point something probably let me see the reference um, yeah probably something like these could be could be okay you can stop to sketch and if we press e uh, on the keyboard we will uh, um, uh, is like go on the menu and select extrude now uh, you can see here we have the letter to speed up the process instead of all time go through the menu and we select this part and how before we can like extrude it and I will say for ooh, yeah I think it's 1.5 so yeah something like this so not too much but should be good enough to be able to print it uh, without support uh, about the top part uh, I will sketch again uh, because we need to create on the top part something uh, to create this gap that we have in the middle I mean not in the middle but from the base to the other part of the hour uh, let me check uh, everything is going well on, on the stream oh, 11 people watching let me know if something go like quality and everything so is working well I want to be sure this time everything so well because the last time didn't uh, so I will go again on clicking on sketching create a sketch I will select the top part and I will draw probably a, I think a square is fine uh, so I will say probably something like uh, yeah something like or a tower shape is fine too yeah something like this that is in the middle and uh, I can stop to sketch and press E and extrude this probably something like uh, um, yeah, I guess one cent one centimeter or so, ten millimeter will be fine. Now, I want to make the top part. And let me check the chart. Okay, nothing. Uh, so I will go again on sketching, and one thing I want to let you see is this. This is one of the part that I really like about Fusion 360. Is this? the storyline that you have here so you can drag and go back and forth with uh, your sketch and what you can do is like if we uh, create the size of the base wrong we can change it so we can click here Let's double click yeah and we can edit so i could put like here like 80 instead 60 millimeter and uh, stop sketching and how you can see now we edit the actual uh, design that we was making without need to maybe delete something come back uh, redo stuff now of course i will go back because i, I didn't want to change it but ooh, i think this is something really good to know about fusion 360. so now i will need to start to make the top part of the trophy so this part and for that part I will go on Fusion 360 and uh, I saw sweet rose in Italian something on the chat because I don't know how many of you know before I when I started with my YouTube channel I had a, I was in Italy so I was uh, doing a video in Italian uh, he just he's just asking if If are everyone Italian, I don't think so. I think so. all the people here are not Italian, at least the majority just watching the name. Um, so Marcel, everything is good here, but my internet is the, isn't the best, so I get lag sometimes. Okay, okay, good to know. Thank you anyway for for the feedback. 
Uh, okay, so we can sketch now the top part, that is this part. Um, so I will probably go back and sketch and go. Yeah, probably I could go for here and then move it a bit down. Or no, go here and then move it a bit up. So this sketch is the same size of the base, so we can directly do a rectangular shape. And go from here to here and then stop sketch and I want to move this part so search move I need to move sketch object so this 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 and this and I want to go up for oops things I didn't took everything oops let me see again let me do, it. do it again move and I guess probably I could select here <laughs> the sketch I want to move a sketch, I want to move this sketch, no? Mm. Why need to be so tricky? <laughs> Let me just, yeah, delete this. And I want to move all this up. Why is doing this to me? <laughs> Damn it. What's up, Pyro? <laughs> Thanks to join and have like too, but my internet is just fine. Really? Because I don't see. Okay, I had some drop of frame, uh, but not crazy. Yeah, I mean, I drop quite few of them. Um, I can't change on. The fly, we can say the the settings. Uh, I will probably I will need probably to restart. Let me okay. Let me restart really quickly the stream, hoping it will be better. Give me a second. I will back as soon as possible. Okay, I should be online again. Let me see if I'm online. Okay, seems I'm back online. Let me know now. It should be better. I went down with the bitrate. Uh, so this was the setting stuff. Let me see. I'm not dropping frame right now. Let me s tell me if it's better now. It will be. Yes, we are. Uh, I guess should be better. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, I just went. I put uh, instead two thousand five hundred bitrate to two thousand. I just downscaled the resolution, and so I guess should be better. I'm not sure why it should uh, have problem. Okay, seems good. Good to know. So we was here. I can directly extrude and then just okay. I can extrude this shape and then move it. So extrude this and this together for six. And I need to operation new body because it it need to be separate from all the other. So okay. Now I want to move this body. So move. Uh, I will say probably for let's see two millimeter how it is. Seems uh, quite good. Maybe three. 
but the way things I I now understand how I can move stuff. Just right click on the body or on the sketch. So another millimeter. Okay, so now is uh, three millimeter. Uh, I'm not super scrappy. I'm kind of following along in 3D maps. Well, <laughs> yeah, good to know. I mean, I would be happy then to see the result if one posted on social. I would be more than happy to then share it. Uh, I guess uh, less uh, 0.5. So is it total 2.5? And now what I would like to do is work with the tolerance of this body because uh, when you want to put part together because I will print the base separate from the body um, we will need to have on the bottom part of the top part uh, the the space uh, to be able to connect we can call it I think spin or pegs I'm not sure how you call it in English uh, with the, uh, the bottom part to the top part so I will add the body one here and what I will do is bring back this sketch this sketch and extrude again this sketch or better I'm not sure if I can do an offset of a solid here let me see if they allow to make a because in Rhino I can do offsets but I think here I'm not sure that I can make an offset let me see with search like offset ok I can do offset of this line but I'm not sure I don't think for a solid so uh, let me check that if everything is going well oh 13 people nice so uh, I will hide this body too and go on the top plane and I will do offset so okay. offset of this usually what I use is 0 0.3 offset just to be sure it will work pretty much in every printer uh, usually yeah uh, if I use like some printer like if I know I will use like Ultimaker uh, I will probably use 0 0.2 0 0.25 but in general I use 0 0.3 in particular because all the model I'm making I'm sharing them on uh, Patreon I want to be sure everyone can be able to print uh, so I will ex I will offset this line for 0 0.3 press ok and then I will stop to sketch and before we extrude this line for uh, uh, 10 millimeters so this time will be for 10.3 millimeter be sure uh, I, I did a new body yes I select both and yeah new body Perfect. extrude for 10 minutes 10.3 perfect so now we can bring back the top body so the body 2 and what I can do is subtract this body to this one so I need to figure out how this works here so I guess modify I think I can combine but say to combine and uh, remove yeah cut perfect okay amazing done easy <laughs> so now we have these uh, cuts in the top part so we will be able to okay, 
Okay, we show again the base. So, uh, I mean, you see, sometimes I just go crazy and moving, moving parts inside this space because I'm not used to move. I think I should be able to see like layer by layer. Uh, I want to like be able to show you the offset. If you offset the rectangle by zero point three, I believe the actual. Uh, Mm -hmm. If you offer 0 0.3, it would be 0 0.3 on each side. So it would be. Uh, let me see. I will hide and see from the top. And then we can, uh, I guess, we can back on the sketch. And let me. The dimension from here to here yeah so you see the the gap is it's 0 0.3 on this side and so it will be the same on each side If you have any question or something, or you are back, you are trying to follow me, uh, just let me know. So I will, I will try to help you. So we can right now we have pretty much a basic shape uh, of the trophy of this trophy. So what I will probably go and do is start to remove parts for the top parts. Uh, what you can do is probably you can extrude until this line and then just recreate this square uh, one by one or you can do like I'm doing now so I do the full rectangular shape and then remove it probably was faster in the other ways but it's fine anyway so I will go here and I will probably I'm trying to see my sketch and try to understand how I want to remove stuff so we can start removing so we will have just one square on the last things. So what we can do is uh, create a new sketch on the top of this part, and we can sketch our rectangular shape from here to here, and then we know this is each square is uh, uh, 1.5 centimeters 15 here and I want to do 50 on the other side and what I can do now is trim pressing the T here And now extrude just these parts down. So I will stop to sketch, and I can extrude pressing E these down for uh, 1.5 centimeters or 15. I need to be negative, and we want to cut. So we press OK and now you can see we have this top square that we can found uh, here
and anyway about the 0.3 tolerance the cool part if I understand I make a error I can still like do all the design and then just come back on the timeline here at the point where I did the 0.3 sketch uh, offset and edit that just that part and uh, go back to the design and it will change just, just that part so what do you see seems everything's okay so now we have this square and then on the other parts we will need to remove let me see we will need to remove looking probably i will just open obs and switch to the webcam so how uh, you guys can see we need to remove the parts without removing these squares so what i will do is always sketch a new sketch on this top parts and what we will need is probably create our rectangle shape again and then we need to create Can you print things from 3D Max or do you need to convert in the course using other programs or and what format are you using by 3D printing software or DJ? So uh, 3D Max I don't remember what kind of uh, format you can export but usually uh, you can um, uh, for 3D printing you use STL file if you export, you, if you can just export from 3 Max in OBJ, you can import them in Netfab and, uh, and then uh, export them in STL format. So, uh, yes, pretty much it's, it's like that. So, let me see if I can copy this. draw other uh, square here so these are the two then we have another square here but I need to check the dimension of this one Three fifteen, and then probably is a better way and faster way to make it but right now is the only way that I know so oops. Uh, I think if I do right click yeah I can repeat the action and do like this if I press D I can check the size I need to be 15 so now I can stop to sketch and extrude this part down for again 15 uh, millimeter. Okay. Uh, the stream logo is going to be tricky for me. Uh, I could use Madbox. To be honest, I have no idea about 3D Max. I never use it. So. I can't help you. <laughs> Sorry, but I guess uh, maybe you cool. I think import some SVG or just a JPEG or something like that uh, inside 3D Max. So now we have these. Let me see. We can see the reference here. So we are. This level is done. We need to go down one more and two more. So I'm back in fusion and we will sketch now on this part we can sketch now on this and let me see 
this part is the right, so we need to go from here to here. I the check. And should be this side should be fine. Okay. And then the one nearby. Okay. So we can stop to sketch, extrude again these two parts down for 15 millimeter. And then we go and sketch again on this side and the last square and it should be fine but just to be sure we, I will check 15 and 15 perfect so we can stop and extrude down this one too no. uh, extrude this part down for 15 minutes. So now is pretty good. I think this is right. The shape is, is right. Uh, let me see right here. It seems right to me. Uh, let me maybe put like seems like in this position. It's more like Seems pretty good to me. Now what is missing is this little line that we can find here and then the logo and if you want add some text here. So I will probably try to add that line, I'm not sure how it works here but we will discover that um, I will probably yeah some line here yeah. I will sketch on this plane from a line from here yeah like this and then here to there and I guess then I can create a kind of, of pipe perfect and then I guess is one more let me see yeah one more What I can do is drawing a line, a random line, and then say this distance. Check all the other are right. From this to this, 15. And from this to this. Ah, wasn't right. Okay, perfect. And now we can make the other line. stop to sketch and now I guess we will do pipe or something
Ah, uh, yeah, probably, yeah, like ZBrush, yeah, should be, should be works. Uh, you should be able to make it. So, I guess now I can create a kind of a pipe with this line. So, let me see. Select more than one account. Uh, okay. I will do probably this thing, one minute of how it is. Uh, mm, seems okay. Maybe a bit too much. Oh no, no I think this is good. It's good. So I will go for, I guess, IPSP. I hope the. One millimeter, and then he usually when you do an action from that sketch, he go and hide the sketch. So I will just show again the sketch and do again the pipe here. We have the line here, and we need to add things. The other line was just here. Let me see. I saw someone posted. I made it one. Let me see. I will go think it was. job I think maybe the logo was a bit more down uh, looking the reference is just a little bit cutting the parts but it is, it is for sure great oh, oh. let me see the view I'm not sure about the line on the top, but yeah, it is great. Uh, I think this is a bit messy to print because it's not in two parts because it will put support, but it's for sure a great design. So I will put now the other sketch here. I'm not sure if I want to put to uh, are you holy I think since your name on YouTube you did. Uh, it's for sure. Yeah, it could make sense to like separate more because from the picture you can't actually see it. I think for now we will I will leave it like that because it seems like it doesn't he have a line just on the front face because how you can see on the side it didn't have a line uh, so yeah I guess I will, I will leave it like this and now the pretty much the last things to do is uh, put the logo and if you want the text you can put whatever text you want and it's done uh, so I want to insert a svg file on this side and we import on the desktop here this svg i hope is a good svg okay seems it 
properties. So that is not super perfect, but I hope we can play around or at least use it. Let's go see. Okay. If I stop, if I can move it easily and resize it. Hmm. How are you going to get the logo in there? Uh, so what I did, I just Google it. Uh, Steam logo SVG, and uh, I f went to image, and or no, I went from the first link, and clicking on this picture, you can download this picture like SVG, and then you can just import in uh, Fusion 360 going let me do it again with you so you can see uh, start a new sketch selecting the face and then going insert SVG and here is open the panel and hi Matthias and uh, click on the folder and then you can open the SVG that you just took from Google and uh, it will put inside here and I will try I want to center this I need to find I guess a pivot uh, so let me see let me see one thing yeah it doesn't have that uh, thanks for the stream oh no worry thank you to join it, wa it was nice and you did a great design so let me see I want to make it smaller I guess now is probably almost is not perfectly in the center. So I would probably move now this part. I want to trim. I need to remove this part because uh, how you can see it doesn't have that part in the lower here. And now I want to move this. Oh yeah, I have an idea. Probably. So this should be the center. So Yeah, I have this problem with move the parts in Fusion 360. It's so something like that easy. 
I don't know why if someone is here I want to help me I will be more more than happy we are here to be honest all to learn I'm learning too so if you know how I can center this logo I will really appreciate it <laughs> It's something, it's something so easy, so move. Set pivot. This is the pivot. So if I want. Part. <laughs> Jesus. Do like this one. Ah, I can probably maybe do. I'm not sure if it's work on this part. Hey, what's up? Hey, Jose. Hey, I'm trying to move this fucking log. <laughs> this make me crazy. I don't understand why it to be so hard. And to move these parts. I'm almost tempted to go on YouTube and write how move sketches in Fusion 360. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe because I'm used to move stuff in Rhino 3D and I can't understand how I can move here parts. But the only thing is if I search for the command is I guess it's move. Stop sketch. Anyone in the chat know it? No one. Okay, so I will go on Magic YouTube and search for Fusion 360 Moon Sketch. Look. Directly from Autodesk for a month ago. So it should be quite good to see uh, how it did it. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see so I can back to s the sketch. And so if I do a line here Huh, I feel so fucking down. <laughs> Damn it. No one in the chat know how I can move stuff. Let me back to the video, so... Because if I have a shape, I have a shape. Because if I have high muscle, if I do a super shape, so now.
Usually why you can't mold and sketch is because of polygon. Oh. Okay, so you, you are saying I should delete by this. I don't see other other stuff that are locking. So if I do move. Okay. I just want to put this in the center. select point, point. Um, let me see for, you see select everything search for move and point point so this Select the drawing. Move. No. Just set the drawing. Search for move. Move. Point. Point. This point to this point. No. Very clear, but it seems to be constrained straight to the purple horizontal line. You can select a million I No, I will not be able to print live because all my printers are in London. So I will probably maybe make a video about this printing this. Well, you know what? I can stop sketching. Extrude this inside for probably. Oh, 
by a decent right connection. What the hell, oh, jeez. It's a really long string. See, this is why I don't like change software. Because I could do this in two seconds in Rhino. Uh, Austin is asking in Italian, hello, I can make you a question. This problem is uh, better, no, it's more valid or less than SketchUp. Uh, and the reply for me is, is more valid, happy valid in Italian. Um, you know what I'm thinking? Because I have a lot of people that I know are working for. Fusion 360 and Autodesk, I would be more than happy to ask them what I'm doing wrong and then in the video where I will print this, I will explain what was going on because I'm not understanding what I'm doing wrong. I'm stuck here, I'm stuck here. For sure, uh, Fusion 360 is a more powerful tool than uh, uh, SketchUp. At least I never really liked SketchUp, to be honest. So, 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 so yeah, I think so. the only things I will probably send this file to some people that I know that are working for Autodesk or like f uh, and they use daily Fusion 360 and I want them to explain me what I'm doing wrong here because the only the last part the last steps to finish this model is just center this part and uh, create uh, in the right dimension the logo and then just extrude inside the shape and it's done so I have 360 as I believe connect your sketch to the line at the bottom of the bottom cube this is the purple line with the two horizontal circle okay Oh, and how I can make it free is a way you know that I can remove this. So you are saying this sketch is connected to this line, this purple line, and I need to, in some way, adjust this, or I can cancel it. I don't know. I'm new in this software. Select the line and delete. Uh, so select this line and cancel. Okay, 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 Greg. Let me see if I can how I can move this circle. Search move. Seems it's still stuck because if I move this, it doesn't move the shape. But I don't see other purple stuff.
let's see if I can move just one like this part move like this okay I can move that um, okay. uh, let me try to move other parts Just, just one second. So, let me see if I can move just like this. I don't know. I want to see if the problem is maybe with something in particular. So, if I do search. This. Okay, so what? I think this is something that is not, it doesn't like. Uh, search, move, let's see this, 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 this. <laughs> well, guys, I would say I feel really dumb, but I have no idea. I mean, I could import this model in two seconds in Rhino and make it happen, but I will ask someone from Autodesk that I know why the fuck I can't actually move all this part together maybe something wrong that i'm not seeing uh, it's pretty much my first time in this software too so i would call it almost a success is the shape is here of the trophy and we have two body so it would be pretty much almost free support and I will just figure out how this part works and integrate these last things of the, the logo in the actual video so explaining why it wasn't working and I guess we will see soon in the next live stream slash video i'm not sure if i will be able to stream again i need to see because i will need probably to meet some people uh, thank you i will say you are taking uh, uh, and yes we will see in the soon probably i have some video already i unbox another printer i'm full of printer right now um but yeah i would guess yeah probably a uh, next live stream i would like to be able to at the same time maybe have like on the screen something printing and designing or something like that i just need to fix the try to find a way to stream in London because the connection that I have in the house where I stay now is not great how you saw probably on my first stream so yes thank you to join me in this adventure <laughs> and uh, let's click on this other point to select let me just Oleg just for something I just want to try it and see if it works <laughs> uh, left click on the center point to select so left click and right click and select the right
how do I send myself to you, Twitter? Uh, you can just tweet like a picture of it, I would be happy to see it. Um, you find uh, the link of Twitter on the description, I guess. Yeah, I, sh I think I put that in the description. So it's. Uh, Uh, if you want to send me an OBJ, uh, uh, you can find my email, uh, I think it's in the description, you can send me an email and we can speak about it with no problem, but yeah, I don't see if I do, is this sketch this SVG is like the part are split and it's like this is not a natural circle Didn't enough in the center. Damn it. Yeah. I had no idea, guys. And I'm feeling a bit uh, sad about it. So. Yeah, I guess I will just let you know in the video, in the official video, what was the problem i guess to like his how like he's saying as far as some rules uh constraints maybe that are not allow me to to make it happen uh but because it's pretty much my first time that i actually use this software like proper to make something like more difficult than just a uh, extrude shape I will ask to someone that have more knowledge on me in uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 and uh, let you know in the video. So thank you to be here and in the description you find if you want to send me an email, my email, if you want to commission to make some model you can send me an email and uh, you find all my social and if you want to support me you always find Patreon and on Patreon you can find all the models that I create. Uh, and you can take it and print it uh, with your printer so thank you again and see you at the next one and remember raise your eyebrow